Hello, Teachers of Maynard. I am Detective Chris Sweeney of the Maynard Police Department. And I am Captain Sean Kiley from the Maynard Fire Department. We are here today to tell you about the Alice Buckets. Each classroom space will have an Alice Bucket stored out of sight. It will be up to the staff members working in each space to determine the most appropriate location for the Alice Bucket. It should be accessible. All the tools in the bucket will have multiple uses and we'll be showing you some of these uses. Please remember that the ALICE protocols give you the authority to make decisions to keep your students and you safe. This applies not only to the protocols but also the use of these tools. Let's talk about the top. This top can be hung from the hooks attached to the doorways and also can be used on the windows to create a visible barrier. It also can be hung as a curtain in the classroom for privacy. Next is the rope. This can be used to secure a door by wrapping it around the hinge at the top or tying the handle to a secure anchor point. Students and staff can also pull on the secured rope should an intruder attempt to enter your space. It can also be used to hang the tarp for a privacy area. Moving on, flashlights can be used in the event of a power outage. Like many of these items, the flashlight can also be used as a projectile for a counter strategy. While these are LED flashlights intended to last a long time, teachers should check the batteries in the flashlights at the start of every school year. Toilet paper. I'm sure we can all figure out what to use this for. Other than its obvious purposes, this too can be used during a counter. Also in the bucket is a window punch. This is similar to a device you may have in your car. The hammer end can be used to punch out of windows should you need an alternative evacuation route. The other side is a recessed cutting blade. This can be used to cut the towel, paracord, or rope. The window punch is also a great item to use in a counter situation. The final items in the bucket are a hand towel, first aid kit, and water bottles. These have multiple uses. The towel can not only be used to clean up as needed, but also it is a great tool to hold pressure on an open wound. Additionally, you have access to a first aid kit. The items in this include things such as non-latex glove, bandages, tape, gauze, and a cravat. This cravat can be made into a sling and also be used as a tourniquet. These will be stored in a Ziploc bag. You also have access to two bottles of spring water should you need them. While it is unlikely that you will need to use any of these items, it is important to be prepared should the need arise. Thank you for your attention during this demonstration. 